just had the big meeting of the minds. Uh, and this is important. Got a smart guy here. He actually told me how to use that damn thing. I've had it for three years. I never know how to use it, right? Maybe I'll start using it and liking it. <laughs> uh, he wants that chimney about the same height as that one. This one is supposed to be the same height as the rest. We're going to continue this flue, this flue, this flue. These two are coming out. We're doing, and what I call the main body is the thinnest part of the chimney. We're omitting the drip edge. We're going to have five courses of the main body, one, two, three, four, five courses of the crown. That'll shorten this up about three feet or so, and that's kind of what we really want to do. We want to shorten these chimneys up, but keep keep the shape of the crowns, those beautiful crowns that they designed way back in 1800 and something. And we're going to make sure that they look great from the ground. It's going to be equal in height to that new guy. And everything should work out just fine. We're omitting the drip edge, we're shortening it, and we're going to maintain the structure of the crown. Keeping up with things, we're going to move along. And I'm mixing mud, go figure. How does that even work out? <laughs> Tip this. <laughs>